Hi, I'm Ruth Winder and I'm here to talk to you today about how I set my bricks up. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about how I adjust the reach for my smaller hands. I am a yeah, small-handed human and having the reach adjust is really important to me. Reach adjust is basically the distance from the lever and, and the bar. So if you have bigger hands, you want it further away and with smaller hands, you just you just want it closer. So all the reach adjust does is, is just bring that brake lever in closer to the bar. The way you adjust the reach adjust is to use a two and a half millimeter wrench and you come in from under the hood, kind of around the back and you turn it clockwise and that way you can adjust the reach. With my brake lever closer to the bar, I then have to adjust the pad contact adjust. Um, and to do that, we have just on the top of the hood, uh, an ability to, to adjust the, the brake. I'll use a five millimeter wrench and I'll turn it counterclockwise just to make sure that my brake is engaging really quickly. On top of the pad contact adjust, you can also adjust at the brake rotor itself to maximize your braking efficiency. So when you go to adjust the brake at the rotor, it's called pad advance. The way that pad advance works is by taking the wheel out of the bike and pulling the brake lever until you see the pad at the brake are just about a millimeter apart. Once you've taken the wheel out and pulled the brake back and the pads are about a millimeter apart, you should have a red insert and you should insert that back up into the pads and that should separate them to make enough space for the rotor. So by doing that process, we've made just the perfect space between the rotor and the brakes so that when I pull my brake, the engagement is as fast as possible. And now once you've got your brakes all adjusted, you can feel confident and get out there and ride.